spirits that you must avoid. The first spirit was the spirit of the world. In the city of Corinth, the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the believers, cautioning them against adopting the values and mindset of the world. In 1 Corinthians 2.12, he urged them to reject the spirit of the world and instead embrace the Holy Spirit, who reveals the truths freely given by God. In another letter, the Apostle John warned about the spirit of worldly love. In 1 John 2, 15, 17, he advised the believers not to love the things of the world, such as the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and the pride of possessions. Instead, they were to focus on doing the will of God, for the world and its desires are temporary, but those who do God's will abide forever. In the town of Capernaum, Jesus encountered a woman who had been bound by a disabling spirit for 18 long years. In Luke 13, 16, Jesus compassionately set her free on the Sabbath, exposing the influence of the spirit of oppression sent by Satan. This teaches us to be aware of the spirits that seek to bind us and to rely on Jesus for liberation. In the days of King Ahab, there was a spirit of deception at work. In 1 Kings 22:22, the prophet Micaiah revealed a vision where the Lord allowed a lying spirit to deceive the prophets of King Ahab. This reminds us to be discerning and not be swayed by false prophecies or deceitful spirits. Lastly, in the book of Revelation, John received a vision of the future. In Revelation 21:8, he warned about various sinful behaviors and their consequences. This included idolatry, sexual immorality, sorcery, and lying. These spirits of sin and deception were to be avoided at all costs.